What's going on there guys, Krahu here and welcome to my Modern Warfare 3 custom class setup. This of course being uh, kind of a speculation uh, prior to Modern Warfare 3's release, what I think I will use and I just want to share this uh, with you guys. So what you are seeing on the screen right now um, is tier 1 perks for Modern Warfare 3. We have Recon, Sleight of Hand, Blind Eye, Extreme Conditioning and Scavenger. Now this video took me a long time to put together, um, so I hope this it, it appeals to you. I'm not the best in Photoshop, but it did take me kind of a long time to make all these pictures and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoy. Hope you give feedback to this video. Maybe push it forward a little bit more. Uh, kind of spread the word about this video. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get onto it. So tier one, we have uh, kind of the dark horse. I'm gonna say is recon. It's really not as bad as people think. Explosive damage paints the target on the mini map. What this means is that if somebody's, I don't know, hiding behind a corner and you chuck a Semtex or, or a Frag um, he's and he's gonna get injured, that person is gonna show up on your minimap. Now the probability, bullet damage, pinch the target on the minimap. That means that if maybe you're using, let's say, FMJ or you're gonna, you know, shoot somebody, he doesn't die, he goes behind a corner, you know where that person is now. This is gonna be perfect for something to use like FMJ and stuff like that. Now, sleight of hand is sleight of hand, uh, except there's the uh, probability of scoping faster uh, from Modern Warfare 2 is taken away, and now it's swap weapon faster, so that maybe go along together with overkill. Uh, we have blind eye, undetectable by, by air support and sentries. This is pretty much, you know, cold-blooded, stuff like that. Probability, launchers lock on quicker, extra bullet damage versus air support sentries. Um, now, extra bullet damage, that's something from Hardened, um, the Hardened ability from Call of Duty Black Ops, launchers lock on quicker. Now that's gonna be kind of crucial if you're running anti-air support um, class because you, you're just gonna lock onto that, let's say, I don't know, pave low and you're gonna take it out. Undetectable by air support and sentries, well that's pretty much um, straightforward. Then we have extreme conditioning which I would have to say is gonna be kind of the weak link but I'm still gonna use it. Um, I mean I just love the probability which is climb obstacles fast, uh, faster. You have no clue how many times, uh, I don't know, I see a guy going for the kill and I you know I didn't use marathon this of course being the pro part from marathon uh, from modern warfare 2 which is the climb obstacle faster so I climb and there's uh, you know his teammate and I'm not able to I see him but I'm not able to run away because the animation is of me you know going over a ledge or or, or whatever climbing somewhere so this is the probability is top notch too bad that it's not you know, uh, infinite sprint, uh, there's nothing pretty much that could be done about that, but it's still sprint for longer distances. As you guys know, Marathon Pro was my favorite, um, was my, my favorite perk from Call of Duty, you know, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Now Scavenger, again, straightforward, resupply from dead bodies, Pro, start with more ammunition, so this is Tier 1. Now let's move on to Tier 2. We have Quick Draw, Blast Shield, hard, Hardline, Assassin and Overkill. Now some of the, uh, I, I wasn't able to find the pro symbol for um, for scavenger overkill and dead silence but quick draw this is gonna be crucial for snipers and for SMGs faster aiming down sight and the pro part recover from equipment and grenade usage quicker that means that you know that the animation for flashbangs uh, is a lot quicker I mean is a lot slower than the ones for stuns that's gonna be very useful at least in my opinion because I don't know I tend to think that flashbangs when hit directly are better versus stuns that's just my two cents now, second, we have Blast Shield, which is going to be my favorite tier 2 perk, but then I'm going to, you know, at the end of, well, not at the end of this video, but when we go through three perks, uh, three tier, you know, the perks, whatever, <laughs> I can't speak, I'm going to show you guys my favorite setups with the perks. So, increased explosive resistance, which is amazing, and the probability is resistance to flash and stun. This is Tactical Mask Pro, guys, and with Flag Jacket all together. Amazing perk. Then we have Hardline, pretty much straightforward. Kill streaks look, require one less kill. Probability every two assists counts as toward, toward your next kill streak. Death streaks requ require one less death. Death streaks, screw them, fuck it. Um, every two assists count as a kill towards your kill streak. That's pretty amazing. Now those annoying assists when you're running Hardline are not going to be as annoying as you might think. Then we have pretty much what I think most people are going to run. Assassin. Undetectable by UAV, portable radar, thermal, and heartbeat sensors. Probability immune to counter UAV and EMP. No red cross her name when targeted. Immune to U EMP. I mean, granted, not many people will run um, EMP, but damn, immune to counter UAV. That means that when we call in, you know, a counter UAV, person with assassin, he's gonna just brush it off and move forward. Now, will that person pick 
assassin over let's say blast shield most of the time we'll see i mean from the new video from the trailer of the uh, kill streaks they talk about balance so we'll see i mean if there's gonna be shit exploding left and right i don't think that that assassin dude will use that perk as much as he should i mean as, as much as he wants to he's just gonna go straight to blast shield that's at least what i think and last but not least we have overkill which is coming back from call of duty 4 Two primary weapons, pretty straightforward. Probability, second primary is able to have two attachments. Nothing too complicated about that. I think it's gonna run well with people if they use, I don't know, a sniper rifle and a shotgun secondary, or, you know, a sold rifle and sniper rifle. I think this sniper rifles are gonna be the most used with this perk. Now we have tier three. Marksman, Stalker, Sit Rep, um, Steady Aim, and Dead Silence. Marksman, identify enemy uh, targets at long range. Uh, pro longer hold breath now this would be amazing for something you know for snipers and stuff like that but as you guys as everybody knows uh, snipers tend to go with either steady aim or dead silence but this is still is a it's a pretty solid perk i have to say then we have stalker move faster while aiming that means when you aim down the site you move around faster that's good for strafing and pro delay enemy claymore explosions that's pretty much um, Scrambler Pro, that means that uh, when you trip a Claymore, it's going to take like 5 seconds for it to explode so that you can run away. Then we have Sid Rep. Detect enemy explosives and tactical insertions. Pro is louder enemy footsteps. Now, look at look at Dead Silence for a second. Uh, quieter movement, recon does not work well against you. Now, quieter movement. That at least say, tells me that the footsteps will not be, you know, infinitely silent. You can still hear it. On Call of Duty 4, when you put Dead Silence on, and you verse somebody, you know, Dead Silence versus Dead Silence, and I have a Turtle Beach headset, I can still hear that guy running around. Now, this is a direct counter to, I would say, Sid Rep is a direct counter to, um, to Dead Silence, so that's pretty top notch. Then we have, um, and of course, you know, pretty much hacker abilities. Then we have Steady Aim, increased, increased hip fire accuracy, and the pro part is weapon is easy, I mean, excuse me, weapon is ready, faster after sprinting that means you know lightweight ability from modern warfare 2 steady aim is straightforward no uh, big difference about that um, and then we have dead silence which is i think is going to be the most used um, perk uh, my favorites from this perk from this from this tier excuse me are dead silence and sit rep this is for anybody that thinks my accent is gone it's still there as you guys see uh, when i'm whenever i'm ready to talk for long periods of time I, uh, my accent shows up, so I hope it's not annoying to you guys. But, uh, yeah, then we have Dead Silence. Take no full damage, Recon does not work well against you, we'll see what that will do, I guess, I don't know. And Quieter Movement. Recon does not work well against you, that may be when, uh, you shoot a guy with Recon, and he shows up on the minimap, maybe it's gonna take half the time for the red dot to disappear, who knows. Alright, now it's time for my class setups. This is my class setup for the SMGs. Um, slider hand with blast shield and steady aim. That's pretty much what my main class will be for submachine guns. Then on the bottom, I put variations. Variations, which is like, I may, you know, instead of slider hand, I may put extreme conditioning just to get to places faster. And if not extreme conditioning, I'm gonna put blind eye. This is just, you know, top is my favorite preferred class, bottom are, you know, variations. Whatever works for me, you know. Then we have um, blast shield and steady aim. With the Blast Shield perk, um, this is my main because whenever you try to get to the enemy spawn, there's always a lot of grenades there. The enemy will try to stun you, flash you, and, you know, RPG you or whatnot. So you better be wearing that perk. And a steady aim just so I could get up close and personal because they did say that the maps are smaller. Uh, kind of Call of Duty 4-esque uh, type maps. So hip spread is always good to have it, you know, kind of down there. But, of course, the variation to it will be Dead Silence or Sit Rep. Now my second class is the, oh, excuse me, before I actually move on, um, Killstreaks, I choose the support package, which is UAV 4 Killstreak, Counter UAV 5 Killstreak, and Advanced UAV 12 Killstreak. Whenever I'm running SMG, I'm always, you know, trying to get to places faster, I have no time to uh, call in the Predator Missile or whatever, so this, in my opinion, will be uh, my SMG class. And I didn't, this is just a picture of MP5K, uh, I mean MP5, excuse me, so don't take, you know, nothing out of it. Uh, second class is my Assault class, Scavenger, Blast Shield, and Dead Silence. Now, I put Scavenger for a reason, um, it's always good to have more ammo. Then we have Blast Shield, predominantly my second uh, perk, which is my favorite. And then we have Dead Silence. Dead Silence, you know, so I'm gonna be quiet and I'm not gonna basically 
you know, the enemy is gonna have a harder time to pick, pick up my footsteps or whatnot. Now the variation of that class is Recon or Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw or Hardline, Steady Aim or Sit Web. Now I decided to put a Recon. Recon is a kind of a perk that works perfectly in my opinion in mid medium ranges. Snipers would not really benefit much from it because if you're far away and you shoot the guy, you know, across the map, that doesn't really matter if he shows up on the uh, on the screen as a red dot. If you're too far, you don't really, you can't really pinpoint him. Then we have sleight of hand, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, quick draw, just to fast aim down the sight, uh, no big deal. And hardline, of course, just to get the kill streaks faster. And steady aim and sit rep are pretty much straightforward. Now the kill streak. Uh, the killstreaks I chose was the Assault Package, Predator Missile, uh, the Reaper, which is a 9 kill streak, and the Pavlo 12 kill streak, so that I can still be on the ground and um, basically gather the kills myself, as the Pavlo does work. My third class is the LMG setup. Now, for this one, I chose Sleight of Hand because of the reload, um, Hardline, and Stalker. Now, you may wonder why Stalker? When you aim down the side, it's incredibly sl in the movement is incredibly slow when you aim down the side with um, like let's say the M60 or the RPD and you try to go you know left and right this is going to be easier for us to avoid uh, easy deaths on us for the simple fact that we can go left and right a lot faster now hardline is hardline um, slider hand is slider hand variations of that is marathon or blind eye quick draw or blast shield um, steady aim or sit rep Quick draw for the simple fact, aim faster down the side, blast shield of course, so I'm gonna avoid explosives. Extreme conditioning is, um, I said marathon I think, uh, prior. Extreme conditioning, pretty also straightforward so I can get to places faster with the LMG and take people out. Now my second to last class is the shotgun class. Extreme conditioning, blast shield and um, steady aim. But I think I forgot to actually uh, mention my perk, my kill streaks. For my LMG setup, it is the Predator Missile, Little Big Guard, which is a 9 kill streak, and AC 130. Now, going back to my shotgun class, we have Extreme Conditioning, Blast Shield, and Steady Aim. Now, I chose that uh, because pretty much perk 1 is straightforward. You run to places quicker, get your kills, Blast Shield, so that you can avoid claymores, and Steady Aim so that the spread is um, a little closer together. The variations of this would be scavenger, so I can start with more ammo and get more ammo on the way. If I'm going for, let's say, gameplays, I won't have to pick up, you know, another weapon. Then we have blind eye, or for the second perk, we have overkill, which is pretty nice if you want to use, uh, I don't know, a shotgun and, let's say, a sniper rifle, or an LMG or a assault rifle as a secondary. Or hardline, and in tier 3, we have dead silence or sit rep as my perks. This is pretty much straightforward, uh, pretty much what everybody would use. And my kill streaks are the support package, ballistic vest, five kill streak. I think this is crucial. Uh, you call in the ballistic vest for your whole team. You wear it for like, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds. It's like painkiller basically, so that you can, or juggernaut, you get to places quicker. Enemy has a harder time to take you out. Then we have Sam turret, which is an eight kill streak. So that when you're running without, let's say assassin or blind eye, the enemy, you know, support is not gonna really matter if you have the center it up. And then we have advanced UAV, which is a 12 kill streak. Now my last class is my sniper class. And for this one, I'm gonna use blind eye with quick draw and sit rep. Now this is pretty much a quick scoping class. I don't know how much quick scoping I'm gonna use in, uh, in how much, how much quick scoping I'm gonna do, excuse me, uh, in Modern Warfare 3, but it's always good to have faster aim down the sight, which is quick draw. Blind eye is blind eye, sit rep is just to detect footsteps and you know claymores and, and, and equipment now variations of this would be scavenger for scout sniping uh, extreme conditioning just to get to places faster hardline or blast shield for scout sniping again and um, steady aim or dead silence now beef you know be honest with me guys what is your favorite class um, put it in the uh, put it in the comment what do you think you're gonna use I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and the killstreaks I use for support, uh, killstreaks I use is the support package, which is the UAV, counter UAV, and the SAM turret. Kind of a team play. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, uh, comment what is your favorite class, what do you think, what kind of variations are you going to use. Um, I've talked for about um, 15 minutes almost, so I truly hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, see you next video.